Hello and welcome to today's episode of Taekwondo Life Magazine Live. My name is Mark Sorianis. I'm your host. I'm a third Don Black Belt and I'm the editor-in-chief of Taekwondo Life Magazine. Today's episode is brought to you by Bet Online, your online sportsbook experts. We are a member of the Believe Network. Do you believe? Today's show is a little bit quick. I am in between a crazy tournament season and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the ECT and the NCTA and the start of the college Taekwondo season. But first, a word from our sponsor. Basketball is back and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting needs this season. You'll also find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. As your continued source for all your sports wagering information, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and the giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports and events, whether it's NFL, NBA, NHL, MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Head over to betonline.ag, join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use the new promo code, which is really the old promo code, Believe B-L-E-A-V, that's B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus and receive your rewards. Bet online where the gaming starts. So I am just back from MIT's kickoff of the ECTC collegiate season. That's the Eastern Collegiate Taekwondo Conference, formerly known as the Ivy League Taekwondo Conference perhaps because there are such prestigious schools in the league as Brown, Columbia, Cornell, Harvard, MIT, Princeton, so on and so forth. But there's a lot of other schools in the league too. The league has really opened up, which is why it's the ECTC. In fact, it's not even just the Eastern region anymore because you have Texas there and, of course, Stony Brook was there, NYU was there, Tufts was there, UPenn, Michigan, a series of other schools. So we talked a little bit last year after the NCTA finals uh, championships, which took place in Boston. This event, this kickoff event from last uh, Saturday was the uh, MIT kickoff event, which took place on the MIT campus. It was sparring in Pumse. Or should I say Pumse and sparring because Pumse was in the morning and sparring was in the afternoon. And truly a fun event, unlike anything that you would attend in Taekwondo because Taekwondo, of course, is an individual sport. It's an individual um, competitive uh, event. But when you are involved in these college events while you compete for yourself, you're competing on your college team. There's an accumulation of points and just like any other college sport, these teams go head to head and and the rivalries are severe. However, the camaraderie is also severe and it's wonderful and it's really, really fun, enthusiastic, it's high level. Uh, and I really enjoy out of all the sectors of the Taekwondo universe, it's one of my favorite to referee. And I certainly think it is important. You know, we've talked in the past, statistics show that even people that train for the majority of their life from the time they're young, by the time they get to college, many of them stop training because they get too busy. But more importantly, probably because they go to schools that didn't have Taekwondo programs. So certainly important if you have a young one who is a Taekwondo um, student who is looking to go to college to ask that question, is there a Taekwondo club? Is there a Taekwondo team at this college or university. Now, if there's not, it isn't fatal because the NCTA, the ECTC are great at assisting in setting up these teams. And one of the things that people don't always understand is that if you're a college student and you go to a school, you go to a college that doesn't have a competing team, you are still eligible to compete in some of these events. Uh, And you can look into that by going to the ECT website or NCTA website. The ECT one is, e, and we'll we'll, uh, link it, ectc-online.org. Upcoming, 
We have a Cornell event coming on November 6th. That'll be in Ithaca, New York on the Cornell campus. I will be in attendance there. And then in Providence, Rhode Island, there's the Brown Tournament in November 19th. And I think that rounds out the fall schedule for ECTC. Obviously, come spring, we'll probably have another three events leading into the NCTA Championships. So if you have an opportunity to check out any of the collegiate events for Taekwondo, I think you will be absolutely surprised, pleased, and amazed as I was from the first moment that I had the opportunity to become involved. So I look forward to seeing you on the mat in and off of the college campus. This is Mark Sirianis for the Believe Network. And be sure to check out our sponsor, Bet Online at betonline.ag. Do you believe? 